Hey there, Unity users. Today I'll be making a video on how to interface a Kinect camera with the Unity 3D. And we will be using the Kinect camera to control our car and the racing game, right? I, uh, this is a bit off topic, but since uh, I was doing a project on this and uh, I'd completed this thing, so I just thought I'd make a video on this uh, so that it will be helpful for those who need this right so firstly uh, I'll upload this folder in my blog just open this that download that folder and open it copy these three folders copy them yes and open the folder which has your car game right the car game that we have done so far right open this car game and just just paste it here since I've already pasted it here uh, it doesn't matter right I've already pasted it here so what we do is open the assets folder next open the assets folder and just close this before I save it I've not done anything don't worry I'll explain it later and open this connect folder cut all these things right hand. Yes. cut all these things and paste these in standard assets folder right and just so it's the right hand script yes open yeah just cut this this thing as well and paste it in the standard assets right and now open the scenes open the complete scene yeah open the complete scene just wait for this unity to open So what we'll do is, uh, we'll create a game object, empty game object, name it as Kinect Manager, Kinect Manager, Kinect Manager, and search for the player manager script, this is a player manager script, just drag it here and search for the connect manager script this is the connect manager script just drag it out here yeah create an empty game object and name it as GUI image yeah and search for the depth GUI depth image just drag it here to this GUI image and drag this Kinect Manager to this thing, right? And I'll just scale the draw. Yeah. I'll just make this hundred. Uh, what this is, this exactly is. This displays the uh, images from this uh, that the Kinect detects onto the screen. This is a position on which. Uh, the, we display the image of the users user in front of the Kinect camera, right? So this is the thing. Now go to car. Search for the script right hand. Drag it here, right? This is the thing. Yeah. Now there is a bit of modification to be done in the car script. Declare some variables here. Static variable of named player, which is of type 
right hand player will push get component get component of right hand public variable new abg of type float yeah just go to the which update i suppose yeah go to the get input function yes i'll just comment these out and i'll just replace this throttle player dot k1 steer equals to minus player dot what's that r yeah I think you might be wondering what I'm doing right so what I'm doing is I'm just getting these throttle values and the steer values input from the uh, user uh, from the gestures of that the user is making what these gestures are I'll just uh, explain the script right hand the gestures are determined or defined in this right hand script just a second what's this error where is this error from player equal to get component or let's get component sorry yeah just save it is gone yeah so this is the right hand script I've declared some variables here which I'll be using in this script uh, I, I will not go through in detail of the script since it's quite complex and need a bit of understanding of the uh, programming in SDK and connect all those things what I'll do is I'll just explain in brief We'll, we'll just set whether there is a player or more than one player in front of the Kinect camera and we'll if that is true then we'll uh, detect the three joints the right hand and the left hand along with the spine of, of the human body standing in front of the Kinect camera right these are the three things these are the lines uh, which which is used to detect those joints right and now what we'll do is with those three joints, we'll make gesture definitions, right? Uh, we'll define a gesture uh, as, like, say, uh, we are standing still and uh, we have extended both our arms uh, and we are making the gesture, say, as, as if we are uh, holding a virtual steer and we are rotating it or moving it in the direction, right? So that's a thing we'll be using to define this gesture to move the car uh, forward or backward, right? On and along the horizontal axis as well. So uh, this what what this thing defines is we are standing still and we are uh, extending our arms. If we if if we have extended our arms, then the car will move forward if if we if we bring up bring your, our arms back uh, to the position similar to that or in a in the same position of uh, to that of the spine then uh, the throttle will be uh, what I can say is the the, the, the throttle will be decreased uh, will decrease like, uh, and we we start moving backward as a thing here right I hope you got this or perhaps you'll get this uh, when I demonstrate the game right I'll demonstrate it later and this loop and the what 
these two lines are this it calculates the angle between the right hand and the left hand and sends this angle uh, to the steer values right here right here it sends I guess uh, it sends here that's the thing right I hope you understood this this is pretty much simple I'll just uh, I'm just get it, uh, take calculating mean angle between the right hand and the left hand right and I'll just I'm just returning these values the R values right if it is less or equal to 1 it is minus 1 uh, since uh, the steer values takes values between minus 1 and plus 1 that's the reason behind doing this right so I'll just save it everything is done now yeah the card thing is done the yeah, script thing is done I'll just connect the connect. Hold on. I'll just connect the connect. And just let's just test it. Right. I've connected the connect and I will start the game now. Let's see if it works or not. See, I demonstrated the car racing game and it's working very well. I hope you found this video useful. If you do, if you do find this useful, then do like, comment, subscribe. If you have any issues, uh, do comment, and I'll be very much helpful to help you. Or rather, very much happy to help you. Right. So thank you guys.